Hi, my name is Shrav Shreeder and I'm a fourth year resident physician at the University of New Mexico. Today we'll be discussing cardiac fibroma. The patient is a 65 year old female who presented for cardiac MRI after a left ventricular mass was incidentally discovered on echocardiography. Axial T2 weighted turbospin echo sequence shows a well circumscribed intramyocardial mass at the left ventricular apex that demonstrates predominantly low T2 signal intensity, an important feature. Balanced steady state free procession series acquired at different points during the cardiac cycle in the four chamber plane demonstrates that the mass is non contractile. On first pass perfusion imaging, the mass demonstrates only mild enhancement. And 12 minutes following intravenous gadolinium administration, the mass demonstrates avid homogeneous enhancement. The final diagnosis is cardiac fibroma. The fact that the mass was incidentally detected, intramyocardial in location, demonstrated hypointense T1 and T2 signal intensity with minimal first pass enhancement and marked delayed gadolinium enhancement are all suggestive of a diagnosis of cardiac fibroma. Differential diagnoses include metastasis, hemangioma, rhabdomyoma, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Metastasis is the most common adult cardiac neoplasm. However, in this case, there was no concern for malignancy, and the remainder of the organs were free of neoplastic disease. Hemangiomas tend to be hypervascular, with avid first-pass enhancement and T2 hyperintensity, which was not present in this case. Rhabdomyoma is more commonly seen in children and quite rare in adults. Further, it has an intraluminal location, is T2 hyperintense, and demonstrates uniform first pass enhancement, none of which were present in this case. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can present as a fusiform contractile mass with signal intensity following that of normal myocardium. There may or may not be late gadolinium enhancement. However, these features are not consistent with the diagnosis in this case. Cardiac fibroma is the second most common cardiac tumor in children after rhabdomyoma, though can present rarely in adults. Patients may be asymptomatic or present with symptoms such as arrhythmia, syncope, congestive heart failure, and cyanosis. Those who are asymptomatic tend to present later on. On CT, one expects a round or ovoid homogeneous intramyocardial mass with or without calcifications. On MRI, one expects low T1 and T2 signal intensity, lack of contractility, intramyocardial location, minimal to no first pass enhancement, and avid homogeneous late gadolinium enhancement, all of which are suggestive of fibrous tissue. Primary treatment for cardiac fibroma is surgical resection. Patients presenting with arrhythmia may require ICD placement, and small asymptomatic fibromas may be followed on imaging. I hope you found this helpful and would like to thank you for listening.